a very good morning students hope you all are safe and healthy yesterday we had completed our chapter birbal's khichdi and i had given you the written work to do hope you all have done and some of the back exercises also i have done, uh, explained you yesterday today i will be sharing you uh, sharing with you the answers of those exercises please do cross check them and today we are moving ahead with our topic prepositions see you people have in your syllabus three kinds of preposition preposition of place preposition of movement and uh, preposition of uh, time so first we are going to understand that what is preposition preposition relates the object of the preposition which is the noun or pronoun following it to another word or in in the sentence means preposition is what relates the object of the preposition means whatever is the object of the preposition it attaches it it makes creates a connection between the words that are followed which is the noun or pronoun following it to another word in the sentence let's make it more easy or a preposition is a word that is used with a noun or pronoun and connects it with the other words in a sentence it shows the relationship between these words means sim simply you can understand that preposition is something that makes a connection between two things in hindi also people might have studied ram ki kitab now what is the preposition here ki ki is the preposition ram ki kitab ki is the preposition so what is this doing it is making a the book of ram okay so it is making a connection preposition is a word or group of words that is used with a noun pronoun or noun phrase to show direction location or time or to introduce an object hope this is clear to you what is preposition it is a word or group of words that is used with a noun pronoun or noun phrase to show direction what do we show with the help of preposition direction location or time or to introduce an object to show direction to in a letter to you like for example we are we have taken some examples to show direction like to in a letter to you see this is a phrase i have written over here a letter to you here this this is showing this to is showing what direction a letter to you whom this letter has gone to you location now see an example for location location at in the phrase at the door time in the phrase by noon or that introduces an object of in a basket of apples like sev ki tokri basket of apples clear now in this uh, today's lesson we are going to understand only i told you that there are three kinds of preposition in your syllabus preposition of place preposition of movement and preposition of time but in today's lesson we are going to study only the prepositions of place now preposition of place describes the position of a person or thing in relation to another person or thing means it shows what preposition of place preposition of place shows that how one thing or one person is related to another person or thing now let's see to these examples there is a cup on the table there is a cup on the table see on is the preposition the helicopter hovered above the house here above is the preposition the police placed a sheet over the body over is what preposition he stood in front of the door and rang the bell what is in front of again preposition ram sat beside tara beside is what preposition beside means close to nearby a small stream runs below the bridge again below is preposition he put the key under the door mat under is what preposition he put his hands behind his back behind is what preposition see some more examples i have written of preposition of position of place 
at in on on under in above over under below next to beside near behind in front of opposite between and among is also there okay let's understand with some with the help of some pictures now see here this is a box cap something is just behind it so this is what is behind something is there just ahead of it then it is in front of it is quite close see the ball is kept quite close so it is next to two things and the ball is in between two boxes in between so this is between this situation is called near if you are in this situation it means you are near to something this is above this is below this is in it, it is in the box here the ball is on it is touching the surface okay it is touching the surface hope it is clear see the picture carefully again see it is behind this is in the front it is in front of this at the side next to two boxes are kept and ball is in between then it is between it is just near to it so near it is here then above it is down then it is below it is in and it is touching the surface the ball is touching the surface of the table you can see of the box it is on now see this is again on touching the surface this is above this is over now see what is the difference between above and over above is something in the air not touching the surface or not covering the whole area over is something that is covering the whole area now see this is at a one point it is not covering from here it is not covering from here but over is covering this box from complete means from this point to this point this is in front of in the front it is something is there this is beside it is like next to okay in previous slide we have seen next to this is below it is also not touching under is touching like above and below are opposites over and under you can see opposite it is also see it is just opposite of this whenever something is like this touching the surface or covering completely then it is under this is behind so you are not able to the ball is behind the box so you are not able to see just little bit of it is visible now let's see some more example see at where is this mouse at the door see it is not touching the surface of door so we cannot say on the door he is at the door the mouse is at the door between mouse is standing between two doors mouse is in the cage mouse is behind the sofa mouse is under the table mouse is sitting on the table see touching the surface mouse is near the computer or television mouse is in front of the television which is standing just in front of it mouse is next to the television or what else can come we have discussed one more uh, preposition for this beside okay next to this is again at home at school at work when we are doing something somewhere then we say at home at work at school at the theater at the cinema at the zoo here what are you doing here you are not uh, means uh, you are there touching the surface also you are doing work also you are doing so many activities over there so at home at school right now confused about above over under below there is a lot of confusion when we talk about above under over below many times i explain you in the class still you people forget now see position of place see i have drawn a picture over here there is a boy who is having a this what is it called a parachute above in a higher position see now the word is where above this is above is written here the bird is above the boy see it is not touching it is in the air somewhere over touching or covering something now see this is over this this is parachute is covering the whole head of the 
this com complete area it is covering yes or no yes it is covering under directly below something this is under okay and below is in a lower position now see the boy is flying in the air just uh, un down if we see what is there if we see directly down then we find a dog so dog is under and this cow is below because it is at some other at some distance okay not just under the boy it's at some distance but he can if he see if he takes his eyes there he can see the cow so it is below there is a cow again see one more example the ball rolled over the table it is covering see coming from here and going this place okay and the balloon is hanging above the stool see it is at one place it is not going from one place to another it is not covering let's see one more example the ball is under the box see it is under and the ball is below the box means kept somewhere here okay this this box is here it is kept till far again one more example over he took the skipping rope over his head from this point to this point covered completely covered can you jump over the fence from this place to this place you are coming means you are covering the whole area above this is what is above are you able to understand through this illustration this is our like in class you people sit right you people sit down in class uh, when you are sitting in the class the roof is over your head because it is covering but you people might have seen that nobody sits just under the projector right so projector is above your head clear hope this is clear to you all somebody is sitting just under the fan because the fan is covering the whole area okay is it clear fan is covering the whole area but the center row students are not sitting just under the uh, fan so we can say the fan is above their head understood you people keep your keep your water bottle outside your benches so it means you keep your bottle water bottle below the bench not under the bench but if you keep it inside then it is under clear you keep your bags and things outside na yes or no yes see keep your head above water my son is only 7 years old and he is already got so much homework he can barely keep his head above water see above water this is above water now this head is not covering the whole water na if he will, his head will start covering the whole water it will not be his head it will be a giant's head dra dragon's head okay so he is a human he is a child and a child's head is very small so he cannot cover the whole river whole swimming pool he cannot cover he cannot river what to talk about a uh, river so this is above let's see one more example the ball is under the box the ball is below the box this i had shown you earlier also now see the box the apple is below the desk where is the apple below but if i will keep this apple here where here at this place it will become under it will become under if i keep it here then it becomes under the table but here it is kept then it is below the table hope it is clear now see how do we use at the reception at the side at the bottom at the top at college at university at school at work at home see this way we have used a what preposition of place in in a car in a taxi in park street in a row in the sky in the newspaper in a lift in a boat in a helicopter under a what with what or some means these are some examples where you find you can find such kind of uh, prepositions like under a tree under the table under the chair under your bed under a fridge under the water under the sea under the milestone under the ground so this way on a bus on the way on the left on the right okay this way the usage is done below the surface below the ceiling below the table 
बिलो जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ओवर माई हेड ओवर द ओके नाउ टेल मी वेयर डू वी हेल्ड एन अम्ब्रेला ओवर आवर हेड और एव आवर हेड सपोज इफ इट इज रेनिंग वी विल से आई एम हेल्डिंग एन अम्ब्रेला आई एम होल्डिंग एन अम्ब्रेला ओवर माई हेड और अब अब माई हेड वॉट विल बी करेक्ट If we will say I am holding the umbrella over my head, it means I am saving myself from the rain water. Understood? I am able to save myself, my head from the rain water. But if I uh, hold it in the hand and say, I say, I am holding the umbrella above my head. Above means in us, like in either in left or in right, not covering my head. and i will be wet for sure if i am holding the umbrella above my head then i will be wet for sure clear hope this is a good example for you people thank you have a nice day i will be sending one assignment related to that please do that and also the uh, images of book exercises please do cross check them okay and do this exercise uh, related to preposition i am sending two exercises of uh, preposition of place please do them in your language notebook thank you and have a nice day